Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to continue our series on the HPE ProLiant DL380 Gen 9 server. In this video, we're going to specifically focus on drives, both hard drives and solid state drives. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the HPE ProLiant DL380 Gen 9 server. Do us a favor, if you find anything that helps you in this video, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, we'll top in now. This video is going to be specifically focused on drives. So what we're going to do in this video is we are going to show you the different types of compatible drives. We're going to show you the different speeds for those drives, the max sizes for those drives. Then we're going to show you how to install them, which is incredibly simple since it's a hot swap and just pops in and out, but we're going to show you nonetheless. And then we're going to show you how to test them with a cool little tool we like called H. D Sentinel. So let's just go ahead and hop in. So what types of drives are compatible with the HPE ProLiant DL3 AG9 server? Well, you have SAS, you have SATA, and you have solid state drives. And technically within solid state drives, you have SAS and SATA. So let's just go ahead and hop into the different speeds. So with SAS, the different speeds you get are 7.2K, 10K and 15K. 7.2K is going to be for your rounder sizes, your one terabytes, your two terabytes. The uh, 10K and 15K are going to be some of the oddball sizes. That's going to be generally your 300 gig, your 600 gig, your 900 gig, your 1.2, your 2.4. Uh, those are going to be uh, the 10K, 15K speeds as a whole. Now with SATA, you're going to get 7.2K, that's what you get, 7.2K. There's technically some uh, oddball ones that can get you to 10K, but with SATA, realistically, what you get is 7.2K. Now, with solid state drives, you get 6 gigabit per second and 12 gigabit per second, and it really kind of depends if you have a SAS solid state drive or a SATA solid state drive. So if you have a SATA solid state drive, the highest you can get is 6 gigabit per second, and if you have a SAS solid state drive, you can get all the way up to 12 gigabit per second, which makes the uh, big advantage for SAS. Uh, they do cost a little bit more than your SATA drives, but they're also faster, which is why they cost more. So now that brings us to the max sizes. And before we go over the max sizes, you really have to point out that there's different types of chassis, right? You have your small form factors and your large form factors. With your small form factors, which is a 2.5 inch, you can max out at 2.4 terabytes with SAS, 2 terabytes with SATA, and 15.36 terabytes with solid state drives. And technically, it's that 15 terabyte for solid state drives is with a SAS drive, and it's 7.68 terabytes with a SATA solid state drives. So there's, again, some more advantages for your SAS solid state drives as a whole. All right, now with a large form factor, which is a 3.5 inch, the max that you're going to get for SAS, according to HPE spec sheet, is 12 terabytes, also 12 terabytes with SATA, and then the exact same it's going to be a 15.36 with a SAS SSD and 7.68 TBs with a SATA, a SATA SSD. Now, again, HPE says for the uh, SAS and uh, SATA hard drives, it's 12 terabytes, but that was just what was specced in originally when the, uh, the, the, the quick specs came out for the Gen 9 servers. That's not actually the true max. We've played around and we've been able to put in 20 terabytes for our machines. So if you've put in a larger drive and as I'm sure bigger sizes come out in the future, hey, drop a comment down below, help out future users, tell them you've put in a 20 TB SAS or a you know 22 TB SATA drive. People will love to hear that. So all right, now that we know a little bit more about the drives, what we're going to do is show you how to install them. And then we're going to show you how to test them with HD Sentinel, which again, we're a big fan of because it's going to show you power on hours and health scores. Let's get going. All right, so I got my ESD gear on. We're going to go ahead and install our drive. Again, it's going to be super simple. One of the things I wanted to point out is depending on the form factor of your chassis. So this, again, is a 12 bay large form factor. And we do have a different chassis video that you'll like in the series that shows the different chassis and different types. But depending on the form factor, you might need to have this adapter here. So if you're installing a solid state drive, uh, your solid state drive is going to be a 2.5 inch. So you can't just pop it into a 3.5 inch tray. It doesn't work that way. You're going to need an adapter. So when you go to our website, if you're trying to order an upgrade, and get a new solid state drive, we will have the option for this adapter for the 3.5 inch. Now, of course, if you just need a 2.5 inch, or if you don't even need a tray at all because you have the trays, you can do all that on our site. You're gonna have all those options available to you just to make sure you get the exact kit that you need for your upgrade so that you're not having to order from 17 different places, okay? All right, so now uh, what we're gonna do here is you're gonna push our red button. Your latch is gonna pop open. We're just gonna slide this bad boy out right here. 
and when you slide it out so this is an old one terabyte hard drive and we're going to be upgrading this to a 1.92 tb ssd and again it's just going to slide right in nice and easy right when you get to the end you just push this and it will click and lock into place very simple and easy install one of the easiest installs that you're going to do as a whole this and power supplies i always joke around about are the easiest installs for your machine so now what we're going to do is we're going to test this with hd sentinel Alrighty guys, so I have HD Sentinel pulled up right now and as you can see we currently have two drives plugged in. Uh, we have this installed into a storage array where we like to plug in multiple drives at a time so we can test those drives. HD Sentinel is an awesome tool because you can see things like the power on hours which is great especially when you're buying used equipment. You can see how long that, that drive has been in use. You don't want to be using drives that have been you know, heavily used because then you have a higher risk of drive failure. Um, and that's one of the reasons why HD Sentinel is such a cool tool. But as you can see, we can just go ahead and plug a drive into the array and it'll automatically populate within the software. And like I said, lots of information. It'll give you health scores of the drives. As you can see, the two we have up top, they have a 100% health score, while the one at the bottom has a 99%. So all pretty good. So I hope you guys found this video useful. And if you did, go ahead, smash the subscribe and leave a like. If you're interested in purchasing a custom built server or you're looking to buy some drives, we do have plenty of those in stock. So you can go reach out to us at sales at cloudninjas.com. Sales at cloudninjas.com. Anyways, guys, thank you for stopping by.